This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. I'm Amy Griesack, a garden writer in Great Falls, Montana, and today I want to show you how to take the strawberry babies and create a new bed. Now the bed behind me, I did a video on it a few couple years ago, putting in the strawberry plants in the springtime. During that summer and that spring, I pulled off the blossoms to prevent the strawberries from producing that first year, which was terribly painful. But it paid off. This year it did really, really well. We really came out every day. The boys ate their fill and we had extras to put on ice cream and other treats. But it's definitely look, starting to show that it's becoming really crowded. The parent plants put off a lot of babies. So that's the perfect indicator that we need to make another bed. So I'm just going to show you today how to take these little ones, put them in a new bed, so we'll continually have fresh strawberry plants for years to come. Now the first ones I'm going to take are going to be the easy ones. These are the ones that are just spilling out of the bed, rooting down in this nice soft material, nice soil. See right there is a really good example when bringing that into the sunlight. Really rooted down, that's absolutely ideal. Okay, I have my handful of strawberry runners. I have plenty more to dig up, but I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do this new bed. Now I had corn and beans in here this summer, but end of the summer when they were spent, took them out, worked organic matter into them, including a good compost, and I've watered it down. We've had a very hot, dry summer. The baby strawberries, the runners, are going to need good moisture. That is critical. If you are putting in these little ones at the end of the summer, we still have temperatures throughout the country, 80, 90 degrees, sometimes even hotter. So keeping that moisture on is absolutely critical. Planting the little ones is just like planting them in the spring. You don't want to put them in too deeply nor too shallow with roots hanging up. You want it right there at that crown, right at that level. And these I'm putting in about eight inches apart just to give them plenty of room. And so next time, one thing I've learned, I put the other ones in closer and it's harder to pick out and find the runners. So this one I'm planting them about eight, well, even 10 inches apart. So that's gonna be able, I'll be able to see the little babies more. So by, I'll fill this entire bed, like I said, absolutely critical to keep the water on it. And then by next spring, we're gonna have another great bed of strawberries. And the good thing is, is next, next summer too, this original bed will keep, be, it'll keep producing just great. This one will be producing. And then I have another four by eight bed that probably next fall, late summer I'll be transplanting because the one thing I've learned after growing berries for so many years is you cannot have too many strawberries 